All right, guys. So, I know each and every one of you all watch the football game. I know that a lot of you all enjoy football, and I sure as heck do. When you think of football, you think of rather large humans coming in, thunderous crashes. <laughs> you, hear, you see big, muscular guys, really big, tall guys. But I know that if you really pay attention to the sidelines, there's this group of guys that are sitting off by themselves. There's no way they belong over there. <laughs> That's a specialist. And here at Eastern Kentucky University, there's a six foot, 210 pound male that can bench maybe 200 pounds, squats around 400, which if anybody knows weights, that's not very much. I have the second lowest vertical on the team, and I know me is in my speed demon. But to prove I know my shit, as far as long snapping is concerned, I've started for three years. Every single game that Eastern Kentucky has played since I've been here, I've been a part of. I've been an integral part of it. And assuming that everything goes right, I will be the only four-year starter at my position since this current coaching staff has been here, and that's six years now. So my, my thesis would be that if you're instructed properly or – for those of you who have cared nothing about football, I understand, guys. But you're going to find a kid in your life somewhere that you love and care about, and they're going to want to play football. It's going to happen. You're going to hate it, but it's going to happen. <laughs> and if you listen to me, you can teach them a position that's going to keep them safe. This position, there's a rule that they cannot touch you while you're snapping. <laughs> so keep them safe and keep them enjoy football, and they might get their school paid for it. So we're going to start with your feet. Your feet and your stance are the most important. Then we're going to work on your hand placement. Then we're going to talk about a thing called hip explosion, elbow pull, and, follow, and finally your follow through. So with that in mind, guys, this is a really complex thing, but if you listen to me, we'll work it through it, and I'll show you a demonstration at the very end. So number one thing about long snapping, your stance. And to show you guys a stance, my feet are directly towards my target. I'm going to assume that my target's right there. I have a straight line. I'm a little bit past shoulder width apart. A good judgment is one, two, three feet. All right, so I'm nice and square. Got a nice solid base. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn around for this one. Is I'm gonna pretend like I'm sitting down in a chair. All right? And you can see here right now, if I'm sitting here squatting, my, my knees are above my toes. We don't want that. You wanna sit your feet back to where if you drew a steel rod down through my feet, I would have a straight line going down to my heel, all my weights on my heel. Next thing you want to remember is you're going to keep the ball about an arm's length apart. I'm not so comfortable. I can sit here and deliver this entire speech to you guys in my stance. I promise you I've done, it. I've done this stance so long. And my, you see that my back is nice and flat. You guys can sit a glass of water on there. <laughs> That's how they train us. Number two. Number two is your hand placement, guys. Most of you all throw the football, but in case you all have it, you start out with, I've got one finger on the lace, I've got my thumb on the back side of the ball, I'm nice and comfortable. I can sit here and throw this. Notice that I've got a nice little gap right here. I can see each and every one of you from my palm to the ball. It's a key part of long snapping that a lot of people don't understand. Next part is my guide hand, and I'm gonna turn away a little bit. I do this grip right here. Notice once again that I've got a gap between the ball and my palm. And I'm going to be here nice and comfortable. I can sit here and flick the ball to you guys. It'll be a perfect spiral every time. Now, the last thing that you're going to have to remember is thumbs. See how my thumbs are parallel to each other? Nice straight line. They're never going to touch each other. That's the key part to your hand placement. So, number three part of long snapping is your hip explosion. You guys can sit there and try to throw a ball between your legs. I would get a, I would get a kick out of it because, honestly, that all the power comes from knowing how to throw your hips back. And this is a little bit crude, but the way to explain this one is, <laughs> way to explain this one is, I'm literally gonna sit there and drive my butt back to my target. And what's gonna happen is, I'm gonna go from my stance, which is nice and sit and we're comfortable, and I'm gonna go right there. And you see how I lock my legs completely out, and I've actually physically moved my body straight back. And a good way to test this is when you're doing it on grass or turf, you're going to have two train tracks going completely solid where your feet are scooped back. That's how you know you're doing it right, because both feet have to go square, otherwise you're not going to hit your target. 
Number, number four thing about mock snapping is your elbow pull. You can still you can do your hip explosion all you want and you're not going to elbow pull, elbow pull and you're not going to have a good snap. And the way I teach this is when you're snapping and you start to move the ball, instead of swinging it like this, you see how my elbows are not involved in this process at all. I got no power until I do this. I start to pull the ball to me. And if any of y'all have ever been to the gym or rowing machine, you know this motion right here, that's the same motion that you're doing. You're just gonna do it upside down. <laughs> so, what I say is, you don't want to pick the ball up and then pull it, because that's called a hitch, it kills your time. So, if you just remember to pull the ball and release it, and the way you can tell if you got a good release point or not, if it's too, too late, the ball's gonna be up here, too low, you go down here. And if you guys watched the game Saturday, I had a low release. Snap was about right here. Not a good, not a good situation. Most, most, guys, most guys in football measure their success in yards and seconds. I measure my success in tenths of a second in inches. The ideal snap is 0.75 seconds on the hip. I'm the hip of your punter. My punter happens to be right footed. It needs to hit here every single time. If we don't have a good operation, the punt is blocked. If any of you guys were there at Eastern Illinois, a bad snap caused them to lose the ball game because we wouldn't have tied them had it not been for that safety. It's an integral part of the game. The last thing that you need to know about long snapping is your follow through. And this is, this, is the, this is the last thing that if, if you do this, you will have a good snap every time. I promise, so don't think about it. <laughs> what you're going to do is, you're gonna, it's going to be the, the number four when you finish. So I get my stance nice and comfortable. I pull the ball. And I lock my legs out, and you can see right here, which I don't know if any of y'all can or not, but <laughs> I've got a nice, do I look like the number four right now? You can see, but my legs are the vertical part of the four. My torso is the uh, diagonal part. My arms are the uh, horizontal part. <laughs> and guys, I know, I know it's a little bit goofy to sit here and see me do this up front, but it is a key part of the game. Those of you guys who watch football or girls who watch football, you know that's a big part of the game. You watch a special teams highlight just about every week. For those of you who don't know the game, and the punt is when you guys go to get to the restroom or go get your snacks. I understand that. But <laughs> <laughs> there's always going to be somebody in your family who wants to play football, and this is a great way, guys. And to share a little bit of my personal tes you know, testimony on this, the guy who trained me is named uh, Jason Rubio. And he in the past eight years has had 150 kids go to Division One universities on full scholarship just for snapping. So it's a great way, it's a great skill to learn. Like I said, through my five-step program, start with your feet, you go back and you look at your hands, your hip explosion, your elbow pull, and then finally look at the four of your follow-through. So you you go through these processes, I mean, it's a cookie cutter stance, you know, I understand that not everybody's as flexible or as strong or, you know, you'd have to make it your own, but if you practice this, I promise you, that .75 on the, on the hip is, is very attainable. And I'm going to put my personal expertise on this subject to the test with a demonstration with you guys right now. So if you guys would, just part the seats a little bit. Right oh, here. Oh. Teach one of their, you know, younger guys. I do that all the time. I do it for free. I'd love to help. Thank you all. <laughs>